My husband, though, he used to be in the magic business. He designed tricks. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> what does he do now? He's a psychic. Oh. So you have a psychic scam artist in L.A. When I first heard the concept, I went, okay, well, okay. But then in, in, in the pilot, Jeffrey's character, Charlie, has a head trauma and actually starts having visions. Now, he can't control them, and he doesn't necessarily know what they are. He doesn't necessarily want them, and but he, but he can't make them go away. So they become a really integral part of what he's doing. You had a bad experience. You have to be very careful. I'd say 95% of frauds. It's her second bout with psychics. She trusts these people. They're very good at getting her to trust them yet again in the face of, oh, I've already been burned once. Linda told me that you were in the business. I'm intuitive. People tell me that my intuitions sometimes help. In the course of the journey, when she realizes at the end that maybe she can't trust them, it's an awakening event for Nadine Davies, and, and it changes her life. Every day, people still come up to me that recognize me from 30-something. It's mind-boggling, and, and crosses all sorts of age ranges, even young people who have watched it with their parents. I mean, it's, it's wild. It's real. I always say to my husband, I don't get it. I don't get it. And um, I mean, you can look at it in two ways. Yes, it's just like yesterday. And yet it was farther away now. It's almost 30 years. But um, we've stayed such a close group of friends. Um, so we see each other. It was an amazing formative time for all of us. It was a, such a great show to be a part of. How much did you give them? Almost uh, 78000 <laughs>